Hello and welcome to Professor Pincushion. I'm Tova. Today I'm going to show you how to sew the raglan sleeve. You'll commonly see the raglan sleeve used on sweatshirts, t-shirts, and especially on baseball shirts. Its distinct look is from this element being both the sleeve and shoulder of the bodice. You can use a contrasting fabric to really make this sleeve pop or use the same fabric as your bodice to make it subtle. Let's go ahead and get started. I cut out my sleeve from my pattern pieces and you can see it doesn't look like a traditional pattern. Normally with a sleeve pattern, at least an insert sleeve, you have a cap that kind of curves at the top. You can see this definitely has a different shape than that. It's because it's taking a little bit from the front and a little bit from the back bodice. So it gives it definitely a more distinct shape. We're gonna be focusing in this area first in order to create our dart. First, we're gonna create the dart that's at the top of the sleeve. Now, I'm just gonna do this for one sleeve, but obviously you're gonna repeat the process for both sleeves. Any marks that you have on your pattern, be sure to transfer them. Because we're gonna be looking at the wrong side, you wanna transfer this dart mark onto the wrong side of your sleeve fabric. So it's just like with a normal dart, you're going to pinch bring these two sides together. What I like to do is I start here at the bottom, fold it in half, grab a straight pin. I'm going to put it through on my mark on one side, and then I wanna see if it comes through on the mark on my other side. So it's a little off, so I can just adjust it a little bit and then try again. Once it goes through, and it's through the mark, which it is, I'll go ahead and put the pin in. So you can see I'm putting in the pin, so it's going perpendicular to the fold of the dart. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same process, and it's a little bit easier for me since I have some raw edges here with a cut that I can just line up those raw edges. So once everything is pinned, then I can take it to the sewing machine. I'm sewing my dart with a regular straight stitch. This is even if you're doing a knit like I am. And I'm starting at the widest point of the dart and sewing towards the point. So start at wide, end at point. You can do a back stitch at the beginning, but when you get to the end of your dart, so the point, you're just gonna sew right off the point and not do a back stitch because we're gonna sew or we're gonna do our knot by hand instead of doing a back stitch to create that knot. This pin marks the end of my dart, so in order to sew off, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna go right off the end of the fabric and just let it go off a couple of stitches and then I could just pull it out and cut my threads long. You want long threads so that it'll make it easier for doing your knot. To hand tie a knot, take your threads, You're just gonna put it into a loop bring the end through the loop, and then slowly pull it so you can make sure that your knot ends up as close to the dart as you can. And then I can just trim this off. When you finish, you're going to take it to your iron and you're going to press your dart flat. So instead of going towards one side or the other, you're just gonna fold it sort of in the middle and press it flat so it ends up looking like this. Flip your sleeve over to the right side. So your dart should just look like a seam line right now. It just extends for a few inches. And we're gonna bring our underarm seams together. So we're bringing it right side to right side. If you have any notches, you're gonna to wanna to match them up and match up the top and bottom of the sleeve. So this is the underarm seam. Because I'm doing a knit, I have to do a double stitch, or you could do a zigzag stitch as well. So double stitch means I'm sewing a seam at the seam line, so 5 eighths of an inch, and then I'm going a quarter inch away from that in the seam line and doing another straight stitch. So I do 5 eighths of an inch and then 3 eighths of an inch, and you can go ahead and do a back stitch on both sides. If you're doing just regular fabric, you're just doing this type of sleeve, but it's not for a knit, then you don't have to do the double stitch. You can go ahead and do a just a regular stitch at the seam line. 
So I did my first stitch at the 5 eighths line and now I'm going towards the raw edge to 3 eighths of an inch. You'll want to trim your seam allowance close to the second stitch if you do a double stitch like I did. And you want to press it towards the back. If you're confused on which one's the back, you're going to want to look at the notches. So double notch means it's the back of the sleeve. The single notch means that it's the front of the sleeve. Now we're going to move on to actually inserting our sleeve to our bodice. I've attached my front bodice and back bodice together, just sewing at the side seams only. So I'm doing that same double stitch because I am working with knit. And you can see I have it right sides together. So right now it's wrong side out. I'm going to next grab my sleeve here. This is right side out. So I have the bottom of my sleeve and then up here I have the top of the sleeve where we have the dart. And you'll notice it looks weird. We have this little curve right here because this is actually a part of the neckline. That's why our bodice also looks weird at the top. You have the neckline, continues on with this top part of the sleeve, and then you have the neckline continuing on the back. I'm going to take this sleeve, I'm going to insert it in between the bodice pieces. Again, right side out. This is right side, so they're being placed right side to right side. And I'm just going to take this top part of the sleeve and I'm going to match it up with my bodice pieces. So I have a mark here, I have a mark here, I'm going to match those marks. I'm also going to match my notches. Now just like with the sleeve, you have a double notch on one side and a single notch on the other side. And that's the same way with our bodice. Here's a single notch. So that's how you know that you have the sleeve in the right armhole. Because usually the back sleeve um, has a little bit more room than the front. So I'm going to basically pin it so it looks like a U. So let me just really quickly pin this side. You're going to match up the side seam and the underarm seam. And again, they should be going towards, the seam allowance should be going towards the back. And once I pin this, I'll show you what this looks like. So let's just put it like this, whoops. And it's going to basically look like a U and that's what you're going to sew next. So once this is all pinned, it's basically gonna go like this. So then you take it to your machine and you'll do your seam. And I, again, I'm doing that double seam again. So do it at the seam line, do it at 3 eighths of an inch, and then I'm gonna trim close to that. So I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. With my seam stitched up, you can kind of see that U-shaped. And you'll notice this top edge where we have our dart, it's not stitched to anything. This is still loose. That's because, again, this is part of the neckline. With my garment flipped right side out, you can now see what it looks like once the sleeve is attached. Now, the bottom of the sleeve obviously still needs to be finished either with a hem or a ribbed cuff. And you can see our neckline is also unfinished. So after I put on the sleeve on the other side, a good idea is to then do a stay stitch around the whole neckline just to keep it from stretching out while you're trying to finish the neckline. So now that you have your sleeve done, you can go ahead and continue on with the construction of the rest of your garment. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to get notified of our weekly releases. Also check out ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 350 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can check out our Patreon campaign and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.